Welcome to this video about Chord SQ, a chord sequencer player for Reason. We will review some of the new features introduced up to version 1.3.5. We'll first look at scale chords, using Roman numerals and chord suggestions. We'll then look at the generate progression, generate chord set and generate pattern functions. Finally, we'll take a look at some randomization options. Let's get started. Scale chords make it faster to create progressions. First select a scale, in this case we'll keep it simple with C major. Now when you click on the chord type edit menu, in addition to all the chord presets, there are also scale chords organized by scale degree. For example, let's choose the first scale degree. Now you see a selection of chords built on the first degree of the scale. The in key chords are fully diatonic, that is, all the notes are in the scale. The chromatic chords only have one note not in the scale. Let's build a simple 1 6 4 5 progression. Using the scale chords, this is quite simple to do. After the 1 chord, we pick a 6 chord, a 4 chord, and lastly a 5 chord. Adjust the voicing. And there you have it. Once we have the basic progression, we can use scale chords to spice things up. Like this, for example. We used some chord substitutions from the scale chords menu and adjusted the voicing. It is possible to change the way the root notes are displayed. From the sequence edit menu, you have several options under show scale degrees. Standard shows the roots as Roman numerals. Subscript 1 shows the root as Roman numerals with the root names as subscripts and subscript 2 reverses subscript 1. Another way to build progression is by using chord suggestions. These are available from the chord type menu for a number of selected scales. In this example in C major, after the first step, we use suggestions for the remaining chords. Let's hear what it sounds like. From the sequence edit menu, we can use the optimize voicing option. Let's hear what it sounds like now. You can now generate chord progressions for select scale types. First, select a scale and a key. The currently supported scales are Major, Minor, Lydian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Phrygian, and Locrian. In this example, we'll use C Lydian. When you open the Variation Edit menu, you'll now see that the Generate Progression menu item becomes active. From here, you can generate progressions of 2 bars, 4 bars or 8 bars in length. This is one example of a chord progression created using the generate progression function. A new handy feature is the current duration option. This is useful when you want to keep the rhythmic pattern the same and only change the chords. As you can see, the chords are changing, but the steps durations remain the same.
Here is a shortcut tip. Instead of opening the pull-down menu, you can simply shift and click on the downward arrow to repeat the same menu action again. A green dot appears whenever the shortcut is available. Another great feature is the ability to generate chord sets for a given key and scale. Click on the Variation Edit menu and choose Generate Chord Set. The interface has been populated with 16 unique chords compatible with the selected scale. Also, the input mode is changed to Key Trigger, so you can trigger each single chord using MIDI notes, starting from C1 all the way to D sharp 2. The generate pattern from the duration edit is a convenient way to quickly create patterns. You have several options available for different bar lengths. Here is a 4 bar pattern. And here an 8 bar pattern. Another useful function is the resize pattern where you can half or double an existing pattern. For example, here we are resizing an 8 bar pattern to 4 bars. Chord randomizations can be useful to come up with new chord progressions starting from an existing one. If you open the chord type menu, you'll see the randomized chord type entry, with options from 25% to 100%. If we choose 100%, the chord type is randomized every time the step is played. Now we hear a different chord whenever step 1 is playing. If something we like comes up, we can Alt-click in the step area and choose Commit from the menu to save the change. A similar thing can be done for the voicing. Let's randomize that as well at 100%. Again, if we like the change, we can Alt-click in the step area and choose Commit to save it. An extreme but also fun use is to set some steps with 100% randomizations. Then print the results to track. A great way to uncover happy accidents. Well, this is about all for this video. If you want to learn more, head over to the Reason Studios shop and look for the Cordescu product page. There you'll find the links to the What's New Guide and the Product Manual.